Hello, everyone. Hello, world. I am June, and this is Free Haven, the June Prince channel. It's not the Prince June channel, it's the June Prince channel. And it is my favorite channel because it is my channel. Every time you see one of those little blips where suddenly I'm like, here, here. And uh, my face is jumping all around the camera. It's because I did something that I didn't mean to do. And it's not just because I'm a new YouTuber. I'm sure a lot of people would be surprised to know that in spite of my long-winded posts on Discord and Facebook, I'm actually a really quiet person in real life. And talking to a camera, or even talking out loud and saying all those thoughts with my voice instead of my fingers on the keyboard uh, does not come naturally to me. So you're just going to have to bear with me for a bit. I'm feeling a bit more comfortable as I record this video. And if I'm not perfect by my third or fourth upload, just wait longer. As I'm sure you noticed in the introduction, if you didn't know already, I am a science fiction and fantasy author. And similar to what I like to do in some of my books is include little Easter eggs from the things that are important to me, things that amuse me, or just random stuff that I woke up with in my head after having a, an amusing dream that honestly aren't that important to me. Uh, so you'll probably find a lot of those in my videos. So if you see one, uh, leave a comment, call it out, and you will win absolutely nothing. Seriously, look at my subscribers. You think I'm some kind of big time YouTuber? No. But, you know, if we get a good number of subscribers, perhaps I will have prizes for stuff like that, amongst other things. Uh, but no, it's just a game. So now it's time to go over the kind of content I intend to produce on this channel, how this channel came to be, and what I hope it will become in the future. While I am an author and I do intend to discuss writing, book reviews, and stuff related to my current writing projects, a lot of the initial content that you're going to see is going to be about Earth 2, because I am a hollow builder on the platform, and I have a lot of long-term plans and visions for Earth 2 that I want to discuss um, regarding creating assets for the platform, developing games to run on top of Earth 2, and covering the news from the perspective of a content creator um, when it comes to the features that they announce and showcase in their updates. I also intend to do hollow building tutorials because even, you know, long before I even thought seriously about making a YouTube channel, I receive so many messages asking me, how do you do it? How do you make these detailed designs? And so some things I'm going to cover are how to make advanced designs and also how to avoid bugs in the hollow editor that will cause your blueprints to either brick so that you can't save them or can't make changes and the errors that will cause you to not be able to place them on the map. So I'm going to go over those things too, because I think that they will be useful because these are some of the most common questions that I see asked in the hollow builders discord group and in private messages and in the Facebook groups about hollow buildings. I currently have about nine videos that I have outlined um, on various topics, including the ones that I've already mentioned, as well as stuff about my first novel, Free Haven Online Dragon's Bane, uh, which inadvertently led me to becoming a part of the Earth 2 community, as well as um, some reviews about the Earth 2 platform overall, um, some community issues that I've seen, which kind of leads me to what inspired me or really pushed me to finally make a YouTube channel, which is that I am what I would call a hopeful skeptic of Earth 2. Um, I want it to be this grand, beautiful thing um, that has been presented to us, but 
at the same time, I believe in holding Shane and the Earth 2 management accountable for the promises they make and fail to deliver. Um, so what I found is often when someone makes a post questioning some of the things that they see in these dev vlogs online and thinking they're not so significant, there are a lot of people, unfortunately, that jump right on people that ask these questions and start name calling and being very disrespectful. And it ultimately has come to the point where I don't feel like I'm able to engage in fruitful discussions with people in the Discord and in the Facebook group. So I've decided to kind of open up YouTube as a whole new platform to be able to have these discussions openly without feeling like I'm talking to a wall, if that makes any sense. Um, because, I mean, I am very critical at times of Earth 2, but only because I want it to succeed. I want it to be this place where we can make really cool stuff and share it with people. And when I see a lot of words telling me what I want to hear, but not so much in the way of hard evidence that these objectives are actually being worked on and accomplished, I get a little bit worried when, you know, people have put a lot of money into this thing. Some more than others, some maybe 50 bucks, some maybe $50,000. And when you're taking money from retail customers, there's got to be some kind of account accountability. And the instant that they started taking money from retail customers, I feel, is the moment when they put their project under a magnifying glass and it, they opened themselves up to scrutiny. And unfortunately, I mean, that would be fine if they were showing people progress over the course of the last year and a half, however long it's been. But unfortunately, the management of Earth 2 and Chain has been very, very um, tight-lipped about more or less anything that they've done on the project. Um, and we haven't really seen a lot of evidence to show that what they're proposing will be made a reality. And upon raising some of these concerns and nitpicking some of, not even nitpicking, I don't have to look that hard, but, you know, taking apart um, the promotion videos and the dev vlogs and saying, you know, what are they really trying to sell us and calling BS when I see it? You know, I, I got really tired of seeing, you know, people calling me everything from a terrorist, if you can believe it. Correction, a vaccinated terrorist. Like, being a vaccinated person is a bad thing. I, I'm not going to get too political here, but yeah. Yes, I am vaccinated. No, I'm not a terrorist because I don't agree with the way Shane has done some things. Um, but uh, I mean, just con the the constant fighting and name calling, you know, n nobody it does. It's not useful. It's not helpful. And so this channel is really supposed to facilitate discussions and ideas about what you see and um, for the future of Earth 2, what you want it to become, and also to look at the tangible evidence of the technology they've developed um, leading us into the future so that we can plan for this, so that we can start making things and get excited. Today, Earth 2 has spoken a lot of words, and they've given us a lot of promises, and they've explained their vision for what they want, but at the end of the day, they're just words. And at a certain point, you got to kind of say, you know, put up or shut up. And, you know, the people that have been giving them money, you know, they want to see something tangible, something that they can touch, something that, um, you know, they want to see demonstrations of the software that shows that what they've made and what they is currently in development is something that is actually going to support their goals. And 
again, they keep telling us these things, but it's not real until we can actually see them. And by see them, I don't mean that we, you know, it's available for customers to use, but I want to see demonstrations in videos and I want them to be significant. And I want that wow moment so that I can take that and show my family, show my friends and say, look, this is this really cool thing. And here's the proof of what they're doing and you should hop on board. But right now, while I am a supporter of Earth 2 on a personal level, I cannot in good faith endorse it um, and tell people it's a good idea when we don't have that evidence yet. Another video I have planned is just Again, uh, talking about how my life as an author uh, who writes science fiction and fantasy that takes place in virtual worlds like Earth 2 um, had actually brought me to the project. Um, because honestly, I probably wouldn't be here if I wasn't writing. And so I want to talk about how uh, these are connected um, and kind of find a unified home on this channel. So I'm going to go over some of those details in another video, and I thought it would, including it all here, would make it a little bit too long. Um, and then, of course, um, other content, you know, I'll be responding to people's videos the same as other YouTubers. And on the writing side of things that have nothing to do with Earth 2, um, you know, I, in order to write, you have to be a reader, and I consume a lot of books. And so when I come across one that I feel is noteworthy, that is deserving of recognition and discussion, um, I'm going to be posting reviews, um, talking about what I loved about it and some things that didn't quite work for me, um, but uh, drawing attention to that because uh, like Earth 2, the lit RPG community and lit RPG, for those of you who don't know, are basically uh, stories that take place in worlds with game-like mechanics. Um, oftentimes is in within the context of a virtual world like Earth 2, um, a completely 100% uh, immersion virtual reality, or but sometimes it's like an alternate universe or something like that. Um, but the uniting theme of Lit RPG is a story told with the introduction of game mechanics um, that guides the laws of physics and the universe that the characters uh, interact in, um, exist in, not interact in. So as of right now, there are precious few YouTubers out there who review lit RPG books. Um, I know there's Ramon, there's Ray, and aside from that, there's not too many uh, dedicated channels for um, reviewing li the lit RPG genre. And I would like to contribute to that. I may not be as regular as them as I have a lot of other stuff to cover, but when I do catch a book that's worthy of recognition, I want to put it on this channel and, you know, give a shout out and uh, say what I like about it, what I don't. Um, I mean, even if I find something that is deserving of recognition, I tend to be a little bit more critical than most people because my background, I have a master's in creative writing and writing for the performing arts and television. So when I go through and I review a book, I have a very different focus on mechanics, um, the sound of the language and story construction and plot points that a lot of other reviewers maybe don't think to cover or don't care about. So I hope to introduce uh, a different perspective on the lit RPG genre from someone who actually went to school to study this stuff. Um, now, that's about all I think I'm going to cover for this channel introduction video so that I can move on to more focused videos on specific topics uh, for you to watch. And if you are interested in having a discussion about where projects like Earth 2 are going and uh, topics about game lit and the lit RPG genre of books, then please, you know, smash up the like, hit that subscribe. Um, right now, I think I have about 10 subscribers. Um, so that, you know, I'm just starting out here. 
If this is the kind of thing you want to see, show your support. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see. And um, until next time.